Hey RC loving peeps of the interweb and especially 3D loving peeps of the interweb. Um, in some previous videos in the comments people asked me to give them some tips and pointers you know for some maneuvers and today I read this discussion on a Facebook group about how to do 3D maneuvers about the crankshaft and there was a discussion about you know how to enter what amount of rudder to give what input what side so I'm going to do some flights with the uh, with the 60 inch uh, extreme flight exp the extra and um, I'll, I'll tell you how i do it i'm not perfect at 3d not at all but i'll just show you how i do it i'll attach the camera to the to the wing as well so you can see in flight what you know what's happening and i might do some on the flight sim later um so yeah um tell me what you think and tell me what you think i do wrong um so yeah, let's get cracking. Okay. All right. Um, so the crankshaft. Basically, the crankshaft is a knife edge spin, but in other directions than you would typically do the knife edge spin. So, good start is a knife edge spin. Establish an upline. Then, when you're high enough, you'll cut the throttle, push over, start a rotation to the left, and then throw in full down some left rudder for me and some uh, well in my case and for this plane some left aileron to keep it in position um, let me just quickly show you show you what happens when i don't use a bit of left aileron so i'll enter it the way i know how and then without the left aileron it'll spin out into uh, well basically into some sort of flat spin so that's it and then there's people that go in with a bit of rotation to the left and then um, what did I say again left aileron the right rudder let me try that so there I go see it spins out as well oh wow I can actually get something out of it but it's you know it looks a bit like uh, the knife edge spin up maybe you'll see it nicely with that clad see this is the way I like him you know with the wing almost pointed straight at the ground all right There you go. You can enter from different positions. I like this one, you know, and then go up. And then fly out. See, that was with a bit of a uh, bit of left rudder. I've got a ton of expo in there. I don't do switches and flight modes and all of that. So uh, basically that was, um, I feel like it's about, I feel like it's about 30% of rudder for me to the left, while I keep some uh, left aileron to keep it in position. If I don't, it'll fall out as well. Try another one. Yeah, so that's basically how I do them. Um, I like them from that half inverted loop and then just go wow. And sometimes it spins out like that. Told you it wasn't the best one at this, but you know.
Time for landing. Whoop. Already. Might want to grease those wheels a bit, but hey, you get the idea. So, looking at the plane, um, right? Um, obviously, throttle will be open in this maneuver, but um, let me cut the throttle. Yeah, I've got mode four inverted, so you can't work with that. But enter with left rudder and then go like, like yay about. So full down and. Yeah, just a bit of left rudder to keep it in there. And just the right rudder wasn't working for me at all. Let's um, put the camera on the wing and see what happens then. <laughs> 